Welcome to The Global Pulse, a short video series where our experts break down a trending topic in international business and why it matters to you. As you know, Britain left the Europe on the 31st of January this year. There is widespread concern around the world and certainly in the United States as to how this is going to impact industries and the global economy. Some things uh, will remain the same, but many things might change. One of the things that might change is uh, in the financial services industry. London has been uh, like the epicenter of global finance for the last three decades because it was easy to work from London and uh, it was very easy to get uh, really well-skilled, talented individuals to come to London and work for financial services industries uh, from the United States. Uh, with uh, Britain leaving Europe, the rules and regulations are probably going to change. In fact, a lot of financial services industries were concerned, uh, you know, even before Britain finally left Brex, uh, Europe, uh, because, and they have started relocating their operations, some of the operations at least, uh, in places like Paris and Frankfurt and Brussels. And it's very likely that now the Brexit is official, that a lot more of the operations are going to come out of uh, different cities in Europe. In this case, certainly, uh, you know, there's going to be a change in the way U.S. companies operate. And also, there's going to be a big challenge for them to attract really good talent to those parts of the world. The second industry that the Trump administration is quite excited about is agriculture, agriculture and livestock. There is expectation that with uh, the stringent EU regulations being uh, diluted or uh, being changed by the United Kingdom, that uh, products from the American agricultural industry can more easily enter the United Kingdom. This may be uh, much more difficult than one would imagine. Uh, the Brits have got used to a lifestyle where they have uh, much uh, better uh, agricultural products, food, beef, meats, and poultry uh, than they had before. And I think there is a huge concern out there uh, in uh, allowing uh, uh, products from the United States, which are much less regulated, from entering the United Kingdom market. So things there may not be as sanguine as one would think. The other thing is whether this Brexit will lead to recession in parts of Europe. Uh, already uh, Germany and France are not growing that well and Britain is also teetering on uh, the edge. And uh, if Brexit goes through and that it might take about a year to really cross all the T's and dot all the I's, uh, it may be that uh, you know these countries will head into a recession. The foreign exchange rate might also change and making it much more expensive for U.S. companies to export into Europe and certainly into Britain as well. So if there is a recession and there is a change in exchange rates, uh, American companies are going to f be really challenged in order to expand beyond what they've done so far. When Europe sneezes, very likely America will catch a cold as well.